Sure to get down. Good Lord. We got the live stream going up on Twitch. <laughs> this night's going to be a bitch. Raisin, uh, I didn't write the song don't out in advance. Done, done. <laughs> Uh, this is Garbage Day. That is 24 terrible hours with the F+. Uh, we are in hour three. I'm feeling fine. I am out of my, I am out of coffee, so I need to make that at some point. Uh, but, uh, here we are with your friends for the hour. We're talking about Jimmy Franks, myself, uh, not Boots. Um, uh, oh, shit, who's in the room? <laughs> I am. We, we got, Hello. It, <laughs> we got... Uh, I will fix that in a second, but, uh, yeah, we are once again raising money for the Southern Property Law Center. We're up to $664.92. Thank you so much for donating. Um, we've got, uh, 13 med- Magical Moons, uh, another mm-hmm. document by the Heavenator <laughs> and the list by a thong. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know it bothers her when I pronounce it that way, and that's why it happens. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's the excuse we'll go with. <laughs> our, uh, our, artist, uh, our artist here uh, is Trav. Uh, Trav's going to be uh, drawing for us for the next two hours. Uh, and once again, uh, we do have uh, the, uh, the top donator of the hour. We'll be receiving a brand new fetish in the mail. Um, and another donation incentive I'm going to put up on the board right now. Frank West, are you there? Yes. Uh, Frank West, uh, what is the donation incentive? The donation incentive is for me to play through a game called Botology. Um, I know two things about Botology, uh, it, other than the fact that it looks like garbage. Um, <laughs> it is translated into English so poorly that as a puzzle game, it's apparently very hard to figure out what the goal even is. And um, as far as I can tell, nobody has ever bothered to beat it. Fantastic. <laughs> World record in as a, yeah. as a, <laughs> I mean, Technically, as a backup, I have a game called Amok, A-M-O-K in all caps, in case Bacology just like ceases to be anything at all. Fantastic. Uh, we now have that up on the board. If we get to $1,000, uh, we are at 666 dollars and 69 cents uh, nice somebody, somebody's <laughs> a fucking hero for getting that <laughs> <laughs> well done sir or madam um, let me screen uh, screen cap that yeah, absolutely <laughs> do that thing um so uh if we get up to a thousand dollars uh frank west will play what is clearly a terrible terrible game uh, but oh, Jimmy Frank, judge ahead of time. Yeah, yeah. Jimmy Franks, I want to talk about, or mm-hmm. I want you to tell us about thirteen McGickle moons, won't you, please? What? Well, friends, uh, I am here with some some fantastic news. Okay, great. Uh, you know, I know that you're all uh, wizards in training, warlocks, okay. uh, you know, uh, necromancers, practitioners of the dark arts. Yeah, uh, but you you already know uh, which. Uh, uh, Harry Potter house you you belong to absolutely um, yeah you I was born with that knowledge to more advanced uh, uh, McGickle uh, practices uh, and maybe you've got some questions you know it's it's the road uh, less traveled uh, and we have a resource just for you it is thirteen McGickle Moons dot blogspot dot ca <laughs> Canadian <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, because apparently, uh, the, uh, McGickle exchange rate up there is much higher. Uh, so you get more McGick for your buck, uh, compiled by the Heavenator and Lesbiathan. Thank you for the document. And, uh, we're going to find out all about McGick today. Sure. I don't know. Yeah. I don't, I don't care. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 Isfahan. What's up? I would like you to, uh, Tell us a little bit about uh, the folks that are uh, dis- dispensing this information. Uh, can we find out more about the Ask a Witch team? Okay, let's let's meet the Ask a Witch team. Um, <clears throat> Ask a Witch is a collaborative effort of three people: Samantha Harvey, Jennifer Wells Marani, and John Marani. Mm-hmm. Rather, Reverend Marani. Marani. <laughs> <laughs> no, not that. Reverend Samantha Harvey, aka Witch. <laughs> She's she's the one who got that name. <laughs> Answers most of the questions Ask a Witch receives. She is the owner of 13 McGickle Moons in historic Occoquan, Virginia. She is also the founder and head high priestess of the tradition of the Witch's Circle, which holds classes at 13 McGickle Moons as well as online. Hmm. Jennifer Wells Morani is the Virgo behind Ask a Witch. And whenever you start up something like this, you're going to need a Virgo. She formats, types, and schedules the blog. 
a paranormal romance author, she currently has two books, Magic Charm and Practically Dreaming. Okay. Reverend, that sounds solid qualifications so far. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Reverend John Moran. Polisher, broomstick <laughs> operator. Yeah. All real things. <laughs> Owl rancher. <laughs> just, I just thought of shutting the broom, burrito. Sorry. Uh, Reverend John Morani writes Ask a Witch's articles on tarot and astrology. He is the head high priest of the traditional of the witch's circle. He reads tarot at 13 magical moons, magical moons, sorry, mm-hmm. I accidentally mm-hmm. pronounced that layperson's way. Does tarot parties and phone readings. Yay! <laughs> Tarot parties. Telephone's future. (laughs) (laughs) Will my phone fall in love? Tarot parties. It's like, what happens if, like, you learn you're going to get hit by a bus or something at a tarot party? Kind of (laughs) sucks the fun out of the room. (laughs) This is the worst birthday ever. Ooh, bad luck and love coming up and whatever. And offers a variety of astrology services. He also writes a blog about tarot, astrology, and other metaphysical topics. Excellent, excellent. Really giving back to the community. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got the CVs out of the way. I just want to hear a little bit more about uh, the, the the great minds of our generation that are bringing uh, the 13 McGickle Moons uh, to life. Uh, Portex, can you tell me a little bit about Samantha, like the first paragraph there? Oh, sure. Uh, so I'm Samantha. Uh, I didn't find witchcraft. Witchcraft found me. Mm-hmm. Uh, I grew up in uh-huh. a home yep. where religion was a must. It was just it just any of them. That's why I got into yeah. it. it. It didn't matter what it was. It was forced down my throat at all times. Be a Buddhist. <laughs> As I got older and I was able to understand what was being said. <laughs> Bob. Bob. <laughs> Holy crap. We jumped up quite a bit. Hell yeah. Thank you so much. Actually, by my calculations, I think we need another Umbop. Oh, yeah? Because he went... Yeah. <laughs> oh, went no. from, yeah, we went from 700 to 800. Yeah, absolutely. Nice. Uh, thank you so yeah. much, uh, Samurai Hitman. You are on You are en route for a brand new <laughs> fetish. <laughs> You're on the leaderboard. You know what? These mm-hmm. people suck. Uh, I'm already bored. Okay. So oh. let's, uh, let's fire it up. We we know all we need to know about these people. I think I think uh, based on the the strength of their resumes, we can move into the advice. Uh, so Lemon, yeah, uh, I'm a new witch, right? Yeah, I'm new. Yeah. To, I'm new to the witch game. Not uh-huh. really sure what I'm doing. I need okay. some confidence. I need some yep. tips. Yep. What kind of advice you got for me? Uh, like what, you're what gonna books? have to answer a more specific question. Yeah, well, I got a few more... questions. I got yeah. a few questions. Yeah. Uh, first off, what books do you recommend for beginners? Oh, oh, uh, if you're a teenage witch, I would recommend Teen Witch, Wicca for a New Generation. <laughs> you can never pump that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you say? Pump that. <laughs> uh, that is a book by Silver Ravenwolf. <laughs> this will give you a solid foundation. Nice. Silver Ravenwolf, obviously. In that, in that, it fits perfectly under the short leg of your couch. <laughs> Uh, I uh, let's say I need an altar, right? Yeah. I, you know, you gotta have something to to kill the uh, the the neighborhood pets on. Uh, <laughs> what what should be on my altar? Well, to set up your altar, most agree you should have a representation of the god, goddess, earth, air, fire, water, and yourself. Okay. It doesn't have to be expensive. It just has to be meaningful. You'll <laughs> like find a little, as you like a grow. bespoke altar, you know, like something you got off uh, an Etsy store. Yeah, 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 absolutely. My God amiibos are all lined up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like my uh, like my uh, my fake gold necklace that says "sexy bitch." <laughs> <laughs> uh, you'll find as you grow into your spirituality that you will add to your altar often. <laughs> uh, lemon. Yeah. Why don't my spells work? (laughs) (laughs) Have you tried spells of magic? Fine. Never. It's fine. Make sure, make sure you're performing spell work that is realistic. (laughs) Yeah, God. I'm (laughs) yeah. (laughs) If you're trying to perform a spell to win the lottery, it won't work and it'll make you feel like a failure. This can be one of the biggest problems many new witches have. Their lack of confidence in their spell work. Instead of practicing with spells. Try practicing with rituals. Cast a circle, Uh, call the elements, invoke the Lord and Lady. Keep doing this until you feel their presence in the circle with you. This is a great way to practice because it requires you to focus your mind and your energy, and it connects you with the elements and the divine, giving your spirituality and your spell work more oomph 
<laughs> and remember, when casting spells, have confidence and a positive attitude that it worked! Yay! Wow. Try the thing that can't be proven that it didn't do shit. <laughs> but think it okay. worked. But just think it worked. Wow. And I, I, just, I just have one more uh, question from, yeah, from this. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I, I want to come out to my parents as, uh, as a McGick. Oh, oh, okay. How do I help my family understand my new path? Okay, understandably. I'm fine. Uh, no, I don't know, I know why, why I read the word understandably. <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, the media portrays the witches as evil, crazy, slutty, or a combination <laughs> of the three. What? This can sometimes cause problems within families if your relatives have these preconceived notions. I wish, I wish there was an easy answer. It's hard to be passionate about your spirituality and have to hide it from your family but sometimes it is in your best interest to leave well enough alone if you suspect that they would have difficulty accepting your path there is no reason for your family to know that you're a wiccan but what if my family catches me at a witch pride parade and i have the pointy hat and the green skin and stuff i don't <laughs> what if they drop a house on me no no mom i'm a prudish witch i'm not one of those slutty witches <laughs> you live in a house made of gingerbread <laughs> yeah, do you eat children? <laughs> We're here. We have magical powers. No, really, we young, actually do. Young lady, <laughs> as long as you live under my gingerbread roof, you will not. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah! Uh, if you decide that you want to share your spiritual beliefs with your family, I have two books I would recommend you have on hand. When okay. Someone You Love is Wiccan by <laughs> Carl McColeman. That's not a very... Uh, that was an Oprah Book Club pick, I believe. <laughs> And it turns out it's all lies. Ooh, we're, <laughs> less, we're less than a hundred dollars away from Frank West playing a garbage ass game. Um, uh, also, uh, Pagans and Christians, the personal spiritual experience by Gus D. Zarega. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even. That's a much more believable name. Gus D. Zarega. <laughs> yeah, just, a, just an Italian name. It's, it's delightful. It's the lovely. <laughs> Zarega. Okay. Yeah. Cool. That's, that's all I uh, awesome. I hope Great. Solid. Solid information uh, for the the budding uh, the budding Wiccan in, uh, in your life. Mm -hmm. uh, do uh, I think we can we can maybe popcorn some other questions or really just kind of suss out this this whole Wiccan game. So uh, it's Fahan. Hi. Uh, I understand. I understand that you're very passionate uh, about something. Uh, in fact, one might say that you love something. Oh, I'm so passionate and so full of love. Yeah, what is for love? graveyards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Graveyards. Yeah. Do 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 do. So I would like you to tell me more about that by going and reading the thing that is headlined I love graveyards. <laughs> I like how you I made me the walk 80s. the plank first and then <laughs> before giving me the reading. <laughs> now you're in the ocean, asshole! <laughs> I love graveyards, and while I was up at Spring Hill, I asked the gods and goddesses to please send me a wand. I literally took three steps, and there was the most perfect oak stick lying in front of me. So I took it home, stripped the park, and said, yeah! <laughs> Welcome to hell, Frank West! <laughs> So I, so I took it home, stripped the bark, and sanded it down. I love this stick, and I don't want any crystals or fabric on it. Uh, my question is... <laughs> that's, that's my reaction to all sticks I love. You just, yeah. You're just raw-dogging that stick. Yeah. <laughs> Man, if any, if any crystals or fabric were to introduce themselves to the stick, I would be very upset. My question is, the tree I think it came from was a grave marker tree, one of four oh. at the back of the graveyard. <laughs> is it okay to use it or even have it? I'm not a dark person, but I love my stick. Please tell me if it's okay. I really need to know. Uh, one more question. Uh, is it okay to use fossils or bedrock for runestones? I'm super drawn to them. Smiley. And uh, Portex, you're going to be, uh, I believe you're the head witch on the Q&A forum here. Yeah, you're like the Dr. Ooh. Laura, which is, yeah. Dear Panda, if you found a wand already on the ground, then of course it's okay to keep it as your wand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You asked the Lord and Lady to give you a gift, and a gift they gave you. Yes, it's okay to use fossils or bedrock to make your own urns. Which? Awesome, awesome. Uh, I I've got a question. Uh, 
did uh, did Princess Diana go to heaven? Hey, uh, uh, hey, witch. Uh, 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 you believe uh, Princess Diana's in heaven? Dear Sheena, I believe Princess Diana is at peace, resting from the chaos of her life and awaiting to be reborn as a completely different person. <laughs> <laughs> so the answer is no. <laughs> which cool asked and answered there's no topic that uh that, that she knows uh, literally everything <laughs> yeah yeah it's amazing it's like she has uh, precognitive abilities uh, uh sidebar uh, if you click on the 13 magical moons dot ca link you'll find that uh that is no longer in existence and so i'm not sure when this was submitted but i'm guessing it was long enough ago that <laughs> Well, it, do, it does instruct you to cast the I can't find my blog on the web, where is it spell. Oh, yes. <laughs> spell spell. That's a yeah. bit, that's, you well, need a blog? The, the archive.org spell spell. That's advanced McGick, and without right. the guidance of 13 McGickle Moons, I, I wouldn't be able to do that. Uh, Lemon. Uh, um, yeah. Do you, uh, I understand, do you have a bit of a problem? Oh, God, I was looking something else. Okay, yeah, yeah, what, what, what was my problem? Uh, your problem is you, you you got you got trolls. You got a troll problem. Oh no. Okay. Well, okay. You may not believe me, but I have a troll problem. Okay. I have two That's children. <laughs> Stop right there. <laughs> I hear you, brother. <laughs> no. No. Hyphen. They are indigos. Uh, um. Uh. Hyphen, uh, and they may have seen them. My mom is a uh, my mom is a sensitive and found out that they are trolls. I need to uh, find children them. are trolls. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The the wording is very uh, confusing. That here. explains the plastic gems in their stomach, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Put your hair up. I was, was going to say, hair Mom, up. I want to comb my hair. No, combs aren't for you. We don't care. Uh, I need to find a way to get them to leave in a nice way. My kids are getting scared. Do you have any ways to help me? My kids are scared, especially at night. My vents have been lifted up a few times, and I have heard noises like grunting. This is not. <laughs> this is not a joke. I am not lying. I found this hard to believe because to be, I found this hard to be, to, to believe too until my mom told me. Wow, my mom told me my son has been keeping food in his room like crackers because he says they want him to get them food. Okay. Yeah, that's all. That's all I got. <laughs> okay, D dear Math Mathressa. Sure. Dear Mathressa, trolls are a part of the fairy realm. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to dealing with the fae, one surefire way of getting rid of them is to place cast iron around and in the home. <laughs> Which? Wow. <laughs> Which out? <laughs> Drop the wand. Yeah. Uh, Kumquat, who I forgot was on this call. Hello. Uh, he's weirdly uh, quiet. Hey, Kumquat's up. He's just so reserved and quiet. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he's, uh, I know. I know. He he takes uh, his McGick seriously, mm -hmm. uh, which is why he's got a, a pretty important question. And the question is: Isn't that considered treason? <laughs> uh, isn't it considered? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My mother is using witchcraft on me in a very bad way. I know, because I found a yellow and purple spellbook printed in 1976. It's a Wario spellbook. <laughs> it's magic the, for dummies. <laughs> the, the witchiest of years. <laughs> now, I don't have a problem with witchcraft. But she uses it to invade my private thoughts. She. <laughs> she uh huh. Yep. Uh huh. She uses coughing, grunting, excess breathing, and also tapping noises. Okay. Is this uh, ASMR again? <laughs> yeah. The question I have is. According to witchcraft laws and rules, isn't causing physical harm to the body or mind considered an attack spell? 
using black magic against someone living in the same house. The relationship is mother and son. Casting spells has a holy Bible in the house and using spells to cause deadly force in the name of Jesus Christ? Isn't that considered treason and could be considered a war crime? Thank you for your consideration in advance. Best wishes and God bless. Cool. A spell no, book I don't invoke? think you know what treason and war crime means. Summoned Jesus to shoot magic <laughs> missile at your brain? I don't fucking what? <laughs> Sorry. Dear William, unethical, yes. Treason or war crime? Mm, nah. Just because she has a purple spell book. Yellow <laughs> and purple? Excuse me. <laughs> Cretan? Only the purple counts as magic. <laughs> It printed in 1976. Does it mean she's casting spells on you? Oh, heavens no. Have you found the spell in said book that causes or requires coughing, grunting, excessive breathing, and tapping noises? <laughs> God and goddess bless you and keep you safe from harm. Why is, it, why is it so important for these people that they, they like have to note the year in which it was printed? Like they mm. both do that. <laughs> well, yeah, we've never... Diff- We've never encountered uh, pedantry on this show before. <laughs> <laughs> you know, maybe uh, certain spells weren't invented until certain years. You know. Yeah. 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 Uh, hey. Hey. Just hey, like uh, which uh, put printed in 1976 in parentheses, like she was making fun of them for bringing that detail up. I don't know. I'm sorry. Hey, hey what's up? Hey. Hey. Hello. Hello. Yeah, hey. Hey. Hi. Hey. Uh, hey. I'm trying to sell a house. I'm not living in. Yeah, uh, it's been uh, it's been on the market for almost a year, and it's financially devastating to make two house payments. Uh, I uh, I've cast a spell to make it sell to no avail. Um, the problem is most of the spells I'm finding involve being in the house to cast them, but I'm a thousand plus miles away. Is there a good spell you can recommend that can be done remotely? Thanks. I'll take my answer off the air. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, so uh, so so yeah. Oh, you you've got something? You have no, an answer I'm to that? Sorry. Oh, you you wanted me to read caution the stains, right? I'm sorry. I, I do. Um, I'm hoping that the witch can. Uh, I'm hoping the oh. witch. Uh, I called in uh, a long time listener, first time caller. I'm hoping the witch can uh, give me an answer <laughs> to my uh, my real estate problem. Uh, dear Kel, 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 I suggest a magical box. What to like live in? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't need a third mortgage. <laughs> <laughs> You'll need a decorative flat top box, pictures uh, of the home, any sales information you have on the home, a piece yeah. of desert rose or selenite, the wishing it. stone, a large and broken bay leaf with your asking price written on it. A sharpie works best. Uh, I got a marks a lot. Is that all right? Is that going to work? <laughs> That's fine. It's just whatever. A okay. green or gold spell candle anointed from weight to end moving towards you with olive oil and rolled in basil. Oh, Bob, yeah. basil's my next door neighbor. He's from Europe. Like yeah, it must, have been really, it must have been really difficult for the uh, magical community to sell houses before sharpies were invented. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, I got, all, made I got all this shit. Now what do I do? Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, number one, place the pictures of the home, sales information, and bay leaf with the asking price into the box. Uh, next, uh, mm-hmm. you'll want to hold the desert rose selenite in the palms of your hands and see, think, feel, sense. Your home selling for your asking price. Once the energy is moved from you to the selenite, place it into the box. Okay, uh, got it. Yeah, good. Number three, place green spell candle on top of box. Be- oh, sorry, malfunction there for a second. Uh, and then number four, place your hands over the candle and box and say something like... Uh, Lord and lady, hear me this night. <laughs> God. And get this house out of my life. <laughs> oh, no. A new family this house will quickly find. Their love for this home will get me out of this bind. <laughs> my financial burden, it will no longer be. I now ask with the greatest need. Beware my power, Green Lantern's light. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyway, light, next, light the candle and allow it to burn down completely. It's okay if wax gets into your box. And number six, leave it on your altar until the home sells. Which? 
cool. <laughs> Man, this website's the best. So much information. <laughs> so helpful. I just wanted to point out, uh, we've gotten some uh, some very, very nice, uh, generous donations this hour. Uh, Bear Strong uh, donated $100 saying, I am a powerful wizard. Uh, right after that, Criminal <laughs> donated $1.92 just so we would have a total of $1,420. <laughs> <laughs> Also, I'm I'm enjoying Trav's uh, freakish troll face <laughs> and magic warrior spellbook. <laughs> oh man, you know, but but uh, you know, thirteen McGickle Moons has already proven to be a uh, uh, an absolutely necessary addition to your your home library. Mm -hmm. uh, it has got everything, uh, but it doesn't just stop at kind of at, at real estate tips. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's got information on, uh, on how to remove stains. Oh yeah. Not, not just, not just literal stains, but mm -hmm. spiritual stains. Okay. Uh, so yeah. Wow. That's pretty helpful for us. Yeah. I feel. Yeah. So yes. thanks. Uh, thanks for providing, uh, this medium. Um, uh, uh, sorry, medium. Oh, what's your name? What's your name? Spiritual uh, medium. Uh, uh, what is my, is my name? Mer no, uh, my name is Mercedes. Uh, uh so I'm a stripper. <laughs> <laughs> Mercedes with a Z. <laughs> Mercedes Mercedes. Yeah. Uh, my real, my full name is Mercedes Brandy Lexus. Um, so, <laughs> um, shut up, cars too. <laughs> so, so anyway, uh, I was born a witch and have been practicing for over seventeen years. I also incarnate an entity for reading purposes, etc. Once, as a junior witch, I met with a mere senior. <laughs> Sorry, mantra just interrupted with a note from Amy, which was Billy Mage here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. That's pretty good. I like that. Wow, a yard idea. sale. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> where, what the fuck was I? Okay, once as a junior witch, I met with a more senior witch who told me at a circle session I was blocked from love. I was about to get married when they were blessing me and adorning me. She said, "It's going to be hell, and it's not the man, and it's not the man. It's you who blocked from love, who is blocked from love." Okay, I wanted to ask you. Which Portex? Yeah, yes. Being Sorry, a I'm high priestess, and from your experience, is this even possible? While I certainly believe a curse like this is, like this, as I would call it, would have to be handed down. But as you know, anything is possible in the spirit realm. After four years of hell, <laughs> my husband and I split. I am wondering if this is true. <laughs> I started doing some research and I was not able to find any spells to remove love blockage. <laughs> you have to get a balloon angioplasty in, in yeah. your love chakra. Uh, can you please assist me to clarify the situation? Am I just exaggerating the matter? Does this not exist at all? Or have I just not found the right ritual? Thanks in advance for all the assistance. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, actually... Hey, uh, hey, witch! Uh, uh, gonna yes. have to interrupt you. Gonna have to interrupt you real quick. Um, this is uh, this is an important message from the uh, law firm of Wicked, Wicked, and McGick. Uh, if you honestly <laughs> believe you have been cursed, then hell yes, there is something you can do. There is no need for you to know what type of curse has been used or who cast it. Once you realize a curse has been placed on you, fifty percent of that curse is removed. Here are some symptoms you might have if a curse has been placed on you. Nightmares. If you have a scrying stone, you have a lawyer. Nightmares. Like Unbelievable bad luck. Extreme klutziness. This is more than a lack of grace. Sudden unexplained illnesses. Repeated negative situations with no known cause. If these symptoms sound like you, then remember that half of the curse has been removed because you are aware of it. One way to look at a curse is to view it as a negative attachment to your aura, the energy field around your body. When you are performing the ritual below, don't assume you know who cast the curse. If you're wrong in your assumption, then you've just wasted an <laughs> awful lot of energy for no reason. Gather the following supplies. A black cord roughly 20 inches long. A black candle. Size doesn't matter. Uh, one ounce well, of... I mean... <laughs> one Size ounce of black... doesn't matter, Portax! Size yeah, doesn't matter! Pulling a collar away from my neck right now. One ounce of black salt. Caution, this stains. 
Gemstones, bloodstone to absorb negativity, black tourmaline to create a protective barrier, and red jasper to reverse a situation. A sage bundle, a toothpick, a lighter, a fireproof dish. Begin by placing four knots in the black cord four inches apart. Each knot represents one of your bodies, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. Using the toothpick inscribed on the black candle, you have no power over me three times. <laughs> Hold the candle oh. in the palm of your hands, breathe deeply in through your nose and out through your mouth, and visualize, see, sense, feel, or know four heavy chains, two on your wrist and two on your ankles. Get a, get Really, really, really get a good visual of these chains because they represent the curse. Once this image is clearly in your mind's eye, I want you to begin chanting, you have no power over me! As you chant this, as you chant this visualize the chains breaking away from you and completely dissipating. Now set the candle down. Light the sage bundle for three to five seconds. Blow out the flames and let the smoke flow over you to cleanse your body. Once you are done cleansing yourself, tap the smoking end of the sage bundle onto the fireproof dish until there is no more smoke it's coming out of the bundle. Light the candle. Place the black turmaline to the top left of the candle. Place the bloodstone to the top right of the candle. Place the red jasper to the center bottom of the candle. You know what? Fuck this. Uh, I'm really picturing the Micro Machines guy with like yeah, the funny wizard hats on. Once the spell is complete, gather the gemstones and carry them with you for at least one full moon cycle. The cord candle, once the flame is out and the wax is completely cooled, and sage bundle, once it is completely cooled, can be put away to be used as a, at a later date. Good luck! Which? Uh... <laughs> I just, uh, I just very briefly wanted to say uh, that we got a uh, donation from Znarf, uh, who said "rock and roll pumpkin." And yes, I will say it again. It's a joke for not that many people. Oh, <laughs> okay. um, Travis, Travis actually the green drawing. Yellow joke, you see, Hang on. Travis actually drawing Billy Mage. So I feel that we all just need to. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, Billy Mage! <laughs> so I know we, we're spending a oh, lot of time in the. Sale. We're spending a lot of time in the general Q and A here. I do want to uh, get to one more question, and then we'll maybe get a smattering of some of the other more specialized categories, because uh, there is some fun stuff to get to. But uh, uh, Isfahan, yeah, uh, I understand that you have a fur baby. Yes, I have a question about my fur baby. Okay, <laughs> my my cat Salem is gone. My cat Salem is gone missing. Is there a spell that? really work to bring him home or at least protect him from harm please help me i love my cat dearly <laughs> it's more Man, like an we... unfamiliar in my light <laughs> uh, dear lulu i'm so sorry lulu i would call the egyptian goddess bast to help bring your salem home because they fucking got cat heads like she's the guy what the fuck ever grab a picture of your fur baby Ugh. I'm sure you have thousands. Heart emoji, a magnet, a candle, a color doesn't matter because mm. shit doesn't work. Mm. On the back of the picture, write a plea to Bass to keep Salem safe and healthy until he comes home. Place the picture on a table facing up and then place the magnet on top of the picture. Now hold the candle in the palms of your hands and see, sense, feel, no Salem walking back to the door. Believe he will come home healthy and quickly. Place the candle by the picture and the magnet and light it. Please let us know when Salem comes home. Which? And Solid. there's there's a note here saying Lulu never did get back to which. <laughs> oh. Clearly, no, it's just she didn't believe enough. It's her fault. Did the spell wrong. Yeah. Well, Port Portex, thank you for being the head advice witch. Although, you know, I'm looking at some of these answers, and I think that that the uh, the title of witch might be used a little bit like some people think William Shakespeare uh, was actually oh. a number of different authors. So uh, probably we're gonna get, yeah. Some, yeah. We're gonna get some different uh, some different perspectives. You know, look at it through a, a, a the prism and some of the different facets here. Uh, so uh, come quat. We're gonna skip to the the obligatory sex category because uh, this is. This is the M plus, uh, yeah, and uh, <laughs> wizard sex uh, Come quat. Uh, tell me, uh, tell me what it, what it is that you want to do. <laughs> I mean, I want to do a fantastic sex. <laughs> I want to do a fantastic sex. <laughs> but what am I reading? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Sorry in advance. This will be a little weird for you to read, but I am just not enjoying sex, oh. period. Okay. I have tried flings, one night stands, and even in relationships, I am just not enjoying it. I really think something is wrong with me. Sometimes I have to be drunk, and when I am drunk, my body will do a fantastic sex. <laughs> when I am sober, 
nothing. <laughs> it's like I am super tense. Is it because I am not really into the guy, or is it my body that is broken? Thanks. Whoa. Whoa. Mm. Whoa. Uh, and then there's an answer, but uh, it's actually sane. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Please, there's we don't have time for that. Counselor. Yeah. <laughs> time is something we don't have. There's uh, not even... I... There's not even one candle involved in the answer. Exactly. Uh, I have an urgent question. But huh? I have an urgent question. She had a dildo made out of unicorn horn. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Well, that can well, detect poison, whoa. so that's actually that's... really... Whoa. <laughs> I'm new to the witchery craft, and my question is, are unicorns actually real? Uh, I, recently, uh... I recently joined a local coven, and they, they have me in a training program for the first year. <laughs> For the first step, they had me join a skyclad small group. It was a little awkward at first, being that it was just nine women. But after a few weeks, now I'm pretty comfortable. Anyways, unicorns. So a couple of rituals ago, the other ladies formed a circle around me by holding hands and chanting. Meanwhile, the leader and I were in the middle. She had a dildo made out of unicorn horns, so she said, uh, and had me use it while she held on to it. No. She said there was some kind of direct energy to her where she would control and channel it through the horn, hence why it had to be from a unicorn and not just some inorganic material. Like I said, I'm relatively new and therefore skeptical of the practice. <laughs> um. well, while it was nothing short of magical, it didn't feel very magical. Uh, I'd like to know if there's any validity to this practice and uh, could it have uh, actually oh my God. been... Oh my but, God! Can, can I just point out that mm. while it was nothing short of magical with a C, you're right. You're. I'm sorry. Feel it didn't feel very magical. <laughs> you're right. You're right. While it was nothing short of magical, it did not feel very magical. Uh, <laughs> oh wow! Wow! Yeah. 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 It was more of a hocus pocus. Not so much <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ta-da! <that> threaded. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was like a guy in a top hat. It wasn't so much dude in pointy hat with stars on it. <laughs> I'd like to know if there's any validity to this practice, and could it have actually been made out of a real unicorn horn? Uh, even if it's not McGick, I think I'll stick around a little while just for the magic, if you know what I mean. <laughs> not the McGick. <laughs> no, that was. It was pretty much like uh, sexual assault. What happened? Yeah. To you. Um, yeah. Would you? Would you? Would you like me to answer your question? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yes. Yes. Please. Uh, please, witch. Dear, maybe your name's Lisa. <laughs> please, honey, sassy you, Southern witch. Please answer yeah, my question. Honey, unicorns aren't real. <laughs> Uh, I have a serious problem with that high priestess there your group did. Although you were obviously a consistent adult, the abuse of power, uh, I would very much like you to write back to me when Kama slaps that sick bitch down. <laughs> Please have nothing to do with this coven anymore. <laughs> the end. Yes. Smile. Solid. Yeah. Solid advice. Uh, the <laughs> last dildo corn. I'm the right. doctor. I'm coming. <laughs> Uh, just real quick, uh, we've got, uh, we've got the next category, which is candles. Yes, really. Uh, uh and I think we're just going to skip all that because, uh, it's just about candles. Okay. <laughs> I, I think of what, we, we only have a limited amount of time and I feel if we had to choose between candles and demons. I do uh, have to say though, the first, uh, the first topic uh, in candles, yes, really is called a help my candle melted. <laughs> <laughs> help my candle melted. <laughs> What kind of magic is this? I didn't tell it to me. I have no magical power left. The candle doesn't help. But how? Who could have? Who could have foreseen such a thing? <laughs> also, I like the sexy candle that Trev is drawing, and apparently Portex, which is holding a push broom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Obviously. Okay. How about uh, we're gonna skip down to demons? <laughs> oh boy. Uh, the uh, let's just jump straight to uh, uh, a question and answer titled Joel, you idiot. Uh, uh, Portax, if you could ask the question, and I think I'd like uh, Kumquat to answer this one. Trav's Thank drawing you. of a unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> well, no dicks on stream yet. Yeah. <laughs> Are you still considered a virgin if you use it? I'm not sure. <laughs> what if it's no longer attached to you and someone else uses it? <laughs> right. And the unicorn no longer approaches you and it can't get it back. Oh, God. All right. 
my my so uh, my problem is uh, I, I made a deal uh with a, with a very powerful demon to be reborn <laughs> as my child. Oh, okay. this is just the Jersey Devil, whatever. <laughs> she asked to be my firstborn. Uh, my child is now almost one year of age. Uh, I want her powers to be dormant. You know, no Damien Omen shit, I guess. So she can have a normal life. <laughs> I want her to be a YA protagonist. <laughs> Are there any spells or suggestions that you can give me that will help? Dear Joel, WTF. Why would you make a deal with a powerful demon to be reborn as your child? It great, just seems great. like you'd be asking for a shitload of trouble. Huh, I, have yeah, no I, idea. About it. I have no idea how to bind a demon's power because I don't believe in demons. <laughs> oh I... my god, so many snaps! <laughs> Wait, what? I just... <laughs> Which wants nothing to do with Joel. But it's like, I, I, don't, I, don't I don't believe, believe in demons. But... I... <laughs> I don't believe in demons, but... Having a demon be reborn as your kid is going to cause some horrible shit to happen. I don't. You have so many Z snaps in the air. It just looks like a sparkler's going off. <laughs> oh yeah, because it's a magical Z snap. Yeah, yeah, obviously. <laughs> uh, okay. All <laughs> right. Come what? You got an the... answer for me? That was the answer. Oh, that was the answer. Oh, gosh, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, it was. It was... <laughs> Bunch of an I answer, right? Even answers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, cool. Uh, so we've got a, the next section is spirit animals, which you know everybody's got one. We all know about that. We don't need. We don't have any questions about that. Uh, oh. But I do feel like we should spend a little time in. And now the crazy question. Woo! Can a man walk through a portal and come back? A cat portal. What? <laughs> and why does a cat appear to me holding a tattered book after such a journey? Ooh, I like this. This is crazy. Is there a spell to change a person from from one to another? <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> We're in spells of magic territory. And uh, which can you give, give me an answer? He just, on, uh, he, uh, just, he, just ran, he just ran right at that portal. He just made a feline for it. <laughs> Uh, Ooh. Okay, all right. it's, early. it's early enough. I still like it. Mm. Uh, dear, dear Kevin, uh, what the fuck? Cat portal? Chased another person? Which? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> this is Daniel and definitely not Gavin from before. <laughs> <laughs> I need help on a spell and a curse. It requires someone to talk to a mystic demon-like voice or a voice that interrupts to make it seem like a real human talking. Help. Yeah, these Please. are... Have we introduced Daniel the Stog? These are definitely, like, legitimately nuts people. This... Ooh, ooh. Dude, dude, Daniel. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> witch. I do like how Witch can also pick up on this. Answer by Macro. <laughs> Hello, um, this is Amy and definitely not Daniel. Or, oh, Gavin, mm -mm. this is Amy. How do I get into someone else's body? <laughs> do you have a helpful answer to that dear, important question? Dear Amy, <laughs> uh, you don't. <laughs> Which? Uh, well, all these morons showing up on this website. <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, yeah it's you know it's it's a diverse it's a diverse uh melting pot of ideas mm -hmm. um it's a marketplace it's a marketplace of mcgickle ideas boy um, okay I all think, right i guess I <laughs> um so discount marketplace sort of an aldi of ideas so the uh the question after how do i get into someone else's body uh isfahan you take that one um, is, is it possible for you to do a spell to grow my penis from where you are without me being present? <laughs> is it? Dear, dear aunt. Your name is aunt. My name is aunt. Um, <laughs> I, my, my penis is really small. 
well, I guess that's not a problem. We can lift 50 times your own weight, so it's fine. <laughs> Dear Ant, oh, honey, I would rule the world if I could enlarge a man's penis using McGickle means. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. You've ruled the world. Yeah, everybody wants to enlarge a penis. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Lemon, uh, uh, Asa, we, 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 these are so short um, yep. that it's taking more time to direct the, the room. Hey, than, uh, the okay, are. please don't mock me, okay? <laughs> please don't mock me. Nope, nope. Please don't mock me. This is a safe place. Can you please put an evil spell on me to turn me into a White House? <laughs> <laughs> into a White House. <laughs> into a White House. <laughs> What in the? Hang on, I gotta fart. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Please uh, turn me into a White House. I want a sign. Turn the bathtub hot pink, and I'll know. I'll know what. I'll know that means. I'll be turning into it. Please. Dear Pam, <laughs> bite me. Please don't mock me, my spirituality or my intelligence. Oh. Which. <laughs> Is this? Is, it, is this like the, the section of asks where they're just like fucking with her? <laughs> I mean, the thing is, like, the way I'm reading it is, which doesn't realize that no, there's people that do want to turn into houses. They hey, don't uh, act like that's poor cool. text. I have I have one more question for you, um, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, I'm just gonna paste your answer right here because uh, I have I have a question that I want to ask you. Um, Hey, Portax, what does it mean when I burn to death in real life? <laughs> Dear Krista, it means you're dead. <laughs> witch. I'm enjoying all this witch sass. <laughs> Sassy witch is really <laughs> Witch sister. Witch sister. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, Kumquat, you've got a problem here that I think everybody can relate to. Oh, yeah? Paste that in a chat <laughs> for you. Hello. A friend of mine thinks someone put a spell on her. When she goes to the toilet, string comes out. Can you perhaps tell me what is wrong? Is she a dog? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Okay. <laughs> Dear Charlotte, any string coming out of any orifice that wasn't put in there on purpose needs to be seen and taken care of by a doctor, not a witch. Definitely not this witch. Witch. <laughs> witch is <laughs> quite enough of your shit. Poor, 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 uh, poor tax. Poor tax. Oh, uh, nice one, Jimmy Franks. Poor tax. I know that you're. Um, uh, we're we're in this uh, bottom section, but I was just looking in the sex section. Now that you got your sass up, uh, I got a question <laughs> I want to ask you. Is that all right? Oh yeah, of course, of okay, course. Good, yeah, which good. always so, has time yeah, for stupid excellent. question. Fantastic. So, uh, so my 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 question is called the sounds of your pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Why wouldn't it be? Uh, so I have a request that a witch would call me at phone number. Uh, let me hear you tell me some sexual desires you have, and let me hear you getting off. However, you would let me experience that by taking the sounds of your pussy getting nice and wet. I, I think you mean the Puffuxy. Oh, the Puffuxy. Yes, you're absolutely yeah, right. Yeah, obviously. Puffuxy, New York. <laughs> Dear, dearest Daniel. I should release your actual phone number to all my readers so they could call you at 3 a.m., scream like a banshee in your ear, and hang up. Oh, she spelled banshee, not the Celtic way. But oh, ooh, yeah. This, disres points. this disrespectful, rude, perverted, dumbass question <laughs> was sent to a powerful witch, not some cheap whore. So here's, here's – can I just ask a question here about 13magicalmoons.blogspot.com? Mm-hmm. Um, this uh, witch here is uh, being trolled repeatedly. Yeah, I know. It's, it's like yeah. turned into the Jerky Boys. <laughs> and <laughs> but the, yeah. the thing is, like, we this start... isn't this yeah. isn't direct to tape. Like, the she's posting <laughs> these on her blog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> why does this happen anyway? Publish. <laughs> well, yeah. I, I mean, I I'm think looking she... for Amanda. Kiss a hug. Is Amanda kiss a hug here? <laughs> well, I I think. The... Oh, she got me again. Ah. I think the intent is like to show that she won't put up with nonsense, but all she's doing is showing, hey, if you if you fuck with me, I'll you know play along and you yeah. get a response. Why out doesn't of she cast a spell to like a stop getting? Them. Yeah. 
Like, is there not a spell to not get stupid questions over the internet? How would you cast that spell, Vortex? Uh, well, first you buy 37 candles, right? And then you mm -hmm. wrap them up into socks full of oatmeal. You stick the oatmeal directly in your ears. I mean, mm -hmm. directly. Don't even, like, half-ass it, right? And so you paint that blue, and you paint the other one green. And then you kind of spin around, sort of, and so all, like, paint goes flying around all over your room. Mm -hmm. It kind of mm -hmm. hits all over the walls. It's just sort of like a weird-ass sprinkler, right? So you mm -hmm. start chanting, hungry, 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 <laughs> hungry, 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 like eight times. Okay. Probably okay. eight times. That's said yeah. eight times, right? Okay. And so right. if you spin around fast enough, you actually drill directly into the floor, right? And you'll just keep yeah. drilling and drilling and drilling. Eventually, you'll reach the center of the earth. And once mm -hmm. you get to the center of the earth, the mole people will listen to your plight, and they'll actually help you out. You could summon them, both in battle or in school, one or the other. But for this, we're focusing on battle, right? So once that happens, all the mole people, they just sort of rise up out of the ground, being mole people and all. And they'll actually mm -hmm. show up right into the room of the guy who's trolling you on the internet, okay? So they'll grab him by the face, and they'll actually spin his head as if they're trying to break his neck. They don't actually break his neck, though. They actually detach his head, sort mm -hmm. of like, you know, you know, detaching, you know, a head from a body. Uh, and never. then... They sort of uh they sort of start drinking his insides, just all of it, and then they jump into his skin and wear it like a suit. And so mm -hmm. that guy, he's like, he's not quite dead, but he's banished to a Well, it would take a while to explain, really, but uh, he gets banished to a realm that's just sort of full of weird Tupperware and, you know, that's... glitter and that sort of thing. And so now that the mole person has actually taken over his life, then the mole person's actually completely mm -hmm. polite and very nice and knows everything about him because he drank his essence. Yeah. And so then so... you have to worry about the troll anymore. I feel like that's uh, are, more laborious than just getting trolled. Are, are the are the are the oats supposed to be steel cut? <laughs> no, only Quaker <laughs> idiot or it doesn't work. I love so, the Quaker idiot. <laughs> <laughs> he's just got wall eyes. He looks yeah, he's exactly. Just, he's, he's just that dumb hat he wears on every single box. It's the right thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, it me, Quaker Otsman. <laughs> I think we're at the time where uh, we should find out what we have learned. Oh, I didn't learn anything. From this. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think the chat has learned. I think that's the first time the chat saw me go off on weird tangent because they're kind of worried about me. I, now, I, so I, I, I don't think that's true, Portex. <laughs> <laughs> it might not have been. Uh, thank you for a, uh, a very successful uh, hour three. Uh, very, very exciting. Uh, Frank West, uh, you, we reached our uh, $1,000 mark, which means that Frank West will be playing Botology, which apparently does suck uh, a lot, which is great. Uh, I will not be here in the next next hour, uh, but Boots Rangear will, uh, as well as Jimmy Franks, Kumquats, uh, Portex, uh, Trav, and perhaps somebody else. Um, and, uh, thank you again. Uh, we will be back, uh, in about five minutes or so. Uh, keep donating and let's sue more Nazis. Talk to you soon. Um, cute mole person. Yay. <laughs>